Hi everyone. So God is saying that he has begun a formation process in you. He has started doing something great in your life. He has started doing something and it's going to be mind blowing. It is going to be quite big. It is going to be, it is going to be spoken about and it is going to start today. It is going to begin for you and you want to connect yourself with this word because it is meant for you. You. you don't want to miss out on the blessing that is being released on this word. That is why when you read the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, it talks about God creating humankind. It says, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So verse 27 says this, so God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. Verse 28 says this, and God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. So again, God is saying that if you read Luke chapter one, verse 26, it says in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth to a town, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. So God is saying that in both scriptures, you could see that God was doing something amazing. There was a creation about to go on about to happen there was a conception that was happening in in genesis god was creating humankind he was creating adam if you look at Luke chapter 1 verse 26, God was creating, God was bringing Jesus. Mary was about to conceive and all these things in these two chapters are being mentioned in 26, in verse 26, verse 27, verse 28, and verse 28, it talks about God blessing the humans and telling them to be fruitful and subdue the earth. And in verse 28, it talks about Mary being highly favored. So God is saying that there's a special blessing upon your life that is about to happen. The time of his favor has come in your life. The time for you to conceive greatness has come in your life and he's already begun creating it. And as he was giving this word to me, I did not even notice that today is the 27th. So God is saying that it is your eyes hour. It is your day. On this day, God is saying that he's planting in your life. Creation, great things are being created through you. Great things are being created through your bloodline. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you receive this blessing that is on the number 27. This blessing that's on the date 27. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.